Did you ever want to know where the sun was going to set at a certain time? For example, if you wanted to go and do a photo shoot and you wanted to actually take a picture of the sun setting over a certain landscape or building, or if you're doing a photo shoot and you want the golden hour um, kind of light in a certain place, well, um, Google Earth does it for you. It's really easy. So get Google Earth, obviously just go to Google, type in Google Earth, download it, install it, and uh, you're presented with this. Obviously you can look at the Earth if you want to, but I'm basically gonna go to Manchester, which is where I wanna do a photo shoot around uh, Manchester city centre. And I wanna see what the buildings are gonna look like in certain areas of Manchester, just to uh, try and get an idea of the best place to go when the sun's setting and uh, Google is really good obviously you can pick your orientation for where you want to look at which angle um, and also you can look up to the sky you can come down a bit more to a low level sort of rooftop wise to see um, which angle you can look at I love all the flat cars there's some like, rolled out cars there um, and the, the the simplest tool in the world really you just click on the sunset view uh, this is today's date and time right now. Uh, obviously, you can go into the time future, but if you look at the buildings, you can see that the shadows are changing. As the sun's changing, obviously, it's place in the sky. Um, the light on the buildings is affected. Uh, and if you spin around, you can even go around and look in the sky and, um, and see where the sunset is going to take place, which I think is just amazing. So if you wanted to get roughly at 7.43 p.m. tonight in Manchester um, a sunset picture of a certain building, all you've got to do now is work out where you want to be, which building you want to be focusing on, um, and what sort of light you want on that building. So for example, do you want it this way into the sunset, or do you want to spin round and have the sun behind you and have that sort of effect? And maybe get some of the buildings in a certain light that you know normally you don't get to see that way. So if we come up to uh, the back of the Arndale, so Northern Quarter, some of those buildings there, say like that, you might actually then get to see them at a different sort of angle that you can then work out the right so say you might want to skip that side but that building there obviously is catching the light so that might look okay but there's the one that's sort of uh, a bit more open because obviously you've got tall buildings around they get in the way uh, for example that building Debenhams I'm not too sure you want to take a picture of Debenhams at uh, sunset but you get the idea um, you can just sort of pick an area and just see how it's going to look at sunset, get your lighting correct, and um, makes a life a little, whole lot easier then. So if you say you wanted to get the canal with the bridge and the uh, new buildings there at the back of spinning fields, then you know at 7.43 that's roughly the, the light you're going to get. Um, you could even possibly get down that alley there, so this road here, um, and catch, say like a sunset view. So if the sun's over there and you're on this road here, oh, it's just missing it a bit. But you get the idea, you can pick a road that's in alignment with it, with a cool sort of feature on the end of the road, and then you get the sun at the end of it. So that was just a, a quick video to share that with you, in case you've not done it before and you wanted to work out how easy it is. Um, it is so easy. So it's Google Earth, click on the sunset, uh, make sure you are in um, the buildings mode, not the street view mode, um, and then you get to see all that and um, just navigate your way around. So thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video, and uh, check back on my channel soon. Take care, bye.